Hello everyone, it's Eunice. Welcome to Aerial Practice, where I share with you how you can practice aerial dance as a beginner. So a while back, I posted this video on Instagram, and many of you have been asking when is this going to be on YouTube. So in the next few minutes, I am going to share with you how to do this one arm handstand on the aerial hammock. Before we get started, I want to share with you the story of how I learned this. If you have been following aerial practice, then you know that I was lucky enough to be able to join an aerial retreat in Germany last summer. When I heard that we were doing a one-arm handstand in the air, I thought there was no way that I could do it. I could barely do a normal handstand with both of my hands. So it just seems quite impossible that I could do it with one. But the funny thing about working in a group is that when you see other people trying, they are failing, but then they are also, it's also working for them. Then you start to wonder if everyone else can do it, the least I can do is to give it a try. And it worked. Within 30 minutes, I was even trying to do this handstand with aerial silks. The takeaway here is if you think you're not strong enough for this, I thought exactly the same. And now I'm here to share this wonderful trick with you. My aerial friends help me get over my fear because I get to watch them, I get to talk to them to see what works and what didn't. And then I just felt like I was very prepared for this when I was doing this on the hammock. So the two things that you must do before you try is that you need to have a reliable safety mask that work for your setup and a spotter standing by ready to support you. You shouldn't be worrying or guessing what, what would happen if you fall. You should just trust all the safety measures that you have put in place to protect yourself and then you can practice freely on the hammock. Another factor that helped me to get over my fear is the secret of this handstand is that it's actually not a real handstand. <laughs> but let's dive right into it and I will show you what I mean. I am grabbing the hammock and stepping one foot in, slowly bringing my body up to standing. Try again if your hammock is swinging. Learn to gain control of your hammock, leg is a part of your body. Make sure the hands are around the height of your head. This will give you enough fabric space to create this illusion of standing on your hand. Now think strong. I'm pulling my shoulders down and straightening my legs to go into an aerial straddle. Hook the right leg on the fabric, left leg to the back. Here is an important step. Arch your back to look at the hammock. Look where your left hand needs to go and slowly slide your body down so your left hand can reach. I'm bending my left leg and bringing it to the front and bending also my right leg to open up and straighten to the side. This is more about balancing your body than standing on your arms. Continue to think strong and straight body and hold until you're happy. To return, I continue to hold the fabric sliding my body down to the left and slowly come back. When I started practicing this trick, it looked nothing like a handstand. In case you're having a similar issue, here are a couple of things that you can try. First, you want to think about the shape that you want to do before you actually do it. I find that mentally prepare what I'm about to do helps me to grow faster than repeatedly doing the wrong thing. So to help you process this, you can try raising your left arm all the way up. Imagine you're doing a handstand means that you're pushing it straight up. And then remember this feeling 
because pushing it up is different than pushing it to the side and that was my beginner mistake doing this trick. The second thing that you can do is to make sure you give yourself enough space on the hammock. That's why I prefer to go slightly higher and then slide down. It is way easier to push your arms straight up or down in this case and then grab the hammock, well slide to grab the hammock than any other alternatives to get into this shape. The most important step here that you should not miss is to look down. Look down at where your hand needs to grab and then you're more likely to get into the perfect shape that you want. The last tip that I have for you in this video is also shared in this other video is that I use a hand spray to help me to get some extra grip strength so I don't have to worry about gliding involuntarily. Once you're comfortable doing this on the hammock, then you can also try to do it on the aerial silks. If you're new to the aerial hammock, coming up next, I will be sharing with you how to get comfortable working with the aerial hammock. And then you can continue to do amazing tricks and dance like these ones. For those of you who missed last month's morning stretch, I'm restarting mine from the beginning it's never too late for you to start. Feel free to join us. Thank you for joining us today and I look forward to see you in next week's video.